Hello, now we are going to see about the full wave rectifier. You might have seen already the half wave rectifier in which the bidirectional signal is converting into unidirectional signal but only half of the half wave. Now we would like to convert the complete pulse bidirectional signal to complete two cycles in the complete positive way you can see with the help of your full wave rectifier. There are different configurations of the full wave rectifier. There are controlled full wave rectifiers and uncontrolled full wave rectifiers. The controlled full wave rectifiers can be done with the help of your controlled switches such as thyristors, IGBTs, MOSFET, whereas uncontrolled full wave rectifiers can be done with the help of diodes only. So now let's uh, let us see the circuit how we can build up a full wave rectifier using uncontrolled devices such as diodes. Now let's take a simple look at the full wave rectifier how we can do. So basically in full wave rectifiers we can do bridge rectifier. In bridge rectifier you can take the diode here in this direction and the diode in this direction. In a similar fashion the diode has to be connected in a bridge fashion. Once the diode is connected in bridge fashion, in between them the load is connected, maybe the resistive load and for this the input signal you can give a sinusoidal or with a different frequency. So let us analyze the same circuit here. I have connected the diode, the positive end is this one, negative end is this one, in the positive end, negative end, these two are interconnected with each other, similar fashion, the positive end, negative end and the positive end, negative end. In between these two, connect the load. So this is the resistor you are connecting here. So you can connect the load in between these two. Now you need to give the input supply to this one. So give the input supply from the function generator. Here the function generator pin is 33. So you can give function generator input from here. Once you give the function generator input here, the other end is connected to the ground. So the other end is connected to the ground. If you would like to see the output across the resistor or across the load, connect one pin here to the positive end of the signal and connect other end of the pin, other end of the load is connected to negative end of the signal. Now switch on the supply. You can check the waveform in the lab view. Open the same VI. So this VI, the same graph, the processor which I have shown in the half wave rectifier and give the input signal sinusoidal with the frequency of your, require, your requirement say my uh, I would like to see the 30 hertz output. So then I should start it. 30 hertz I am giving input signal frequency. Once I will give signal frequency I would like to check the output here. So let me enlarge this figure. Now let, let me run this one. So you are observing the output in reverse fashion because the terminals which you ha I have connected in reverse way. If you reverse the terminals, and you start the output, so you will get the full wave output as like this. So this is the how you can get full wave rectifier. If you see even you can observe the input signal whatever you have given. So the input signal is completely AC signal and the output you are getting is completely unidirectional signal that is DC. Even you can change the peak to peak voltage to say 10 volts and you can observe the change in the output 
and you can change even the frequency say I'm changing the frequency of 40 Hertz and I can see the number of waveforms that is coming is increased you can change the frequency to 80 Hertz see the frequency of the waveform is increased and even I can change the frequency to 100 Hertz you can observe suppose if I give triangular wave what will happen let me see so the triangular wave I will get the output as simple as triangular but in the only the positive way in the negative it will, it will not get a negative way in case if I give in the square wave as input so square wave only the positive will come even the frequency you can see only you will get only the positive half there will be no negative half so this is how you can analyze the circuit for different frequencies and different amplitudes and you can get node on all the values now you can start the circuit.